Hey guys, it's Mo from Mo in the Deep End, and thank you very much to, oh my goodness, why can I, reindeer. I swear to goodness, I have not smelt burnt toast. I just had a brain fart and couldn't remember who sent this. She sent me a bunch of news stories with all the shenanigans, and since it is Friday and uh, the court in the Black Widower case has decided to take four ever to start i decided i would do some of this wonderful stuff that she sent and as always america's freedom dong delivers florida woe man you know representing gender equality as per usual you know we are out there we are women we are here hear us roar uh we're knocking at the door of redonkulousness, of course. Oh, no, I don't want to see you. I wanted to get you off the screen, but apparently that is impossible. Or it's internet magic I will learn later. But let's see what this is all about. A Florida woman doused herself in Diet Mountain Dew to erase DNA after killing her roommate, 78 or 79, cops say. Hmm. You know, being from uh, rural Indiana, you know, somewhat hillbilly uh, passport, I can tell you that um, legend foretells that Mountain Dew can do most anything, but it might be that she tried to use diet Mountain Dew. Uh, you know, that could be the reason that it did not work for her. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Lord. Ma'am, what, what is wrong? Why? Just all the why. I mean, I know Florida. I know Florida, but you just it had to go with the Mountain Dew. You couldn't do sweet tea. You couldn't have done, you know, moonshine. Just saying. A blood-smudged Florida woman suspected of murder accrued additional charges after she asked police for a soda, then poured it all over herself. Ma'am, you couldn't have tried to lick it off like, um... Ronald, r r r r r r r, the Border Patrol agent guy who decided to become part cat and like just try to smudulate himself, which was super gross. You know what? Points for you for, for using Mountain Dew and not licking yourself like some gross person. In an attempt to scrub forensic evidence from her body, Daytona Beach said, or Beach Police said, Nicole A. Max, 35, was charged with tampering with evidence and resisting arrest with violence and premeditated first-degree murder in the death of 79-year-old Michelle Carasoli on August 5th, per a probable cause affidavit shared with Fox News Digital by police. Firefighters were called to a smoldering home on the 600 block of Clark Street at 1.46 a.m. on July 1st. Clothes on the second floor had been set afire, the Belosia County Sheriff's Office told Fox. Look, y'all, these are these are names. It's a Friday. It is very close to being 2 o'clock. Well, it is 2 o'clock, which means it is that much closer to 5 o'clock shenanigans and I can drink. Look, it has been one of those days where it's like, oh, it is one hour closer. Yay. But they but said that they had no additional information on the arson investigation. After quickly extinguishing the flames, first responders found Crisoli lying face down in a blood spattered room. He had suffered. Oh, so it's Michael, not Michelle. Sorry. He had suffered blunt force trauma to the head and stab wounds to the torso. So it does make me wonder, and now I want to pull the probable cause affidavit to see if they were um, living as roommate or if she was kind of a sugar baby sort of thing. The dead man's landlord told police that Max was his other tenant, but the woman was nowhere to be found. So this is the woman. Um, neck tattoos are often signs of Harvard graduations, as they do. Two cell phones were recovered near the 79-year-old's corpse. One belonged to the victim, while the other, which had a bloodied knife, 
balanced on top of it belonged to Max. Less than two hours later, the police said they spotted a barefoot Max with blood on her leg and a ripped shirt outside a crystal restaurant in the nearby community of Holy Hill or Holly Hill. When they approached, the police said she dropped a knife and hammer at their feet. I love that we have, like, no one knows what Mountain Dew is. Like, someone needs to be like, what is it this that they speak? What is this magic elixir of which they speak? This Mountain Dew, if you will. I have heard tell of this thing. But what is this, you know, rather fluorescent green looking stuff that we drink? Listen, y'all, on on special occasions, on on very rare times, because I'm I'm not a fan of Mountain Dew, but every once in a while on a blue moon, Mo will go out. She will go to a Taco Bell, not for the tacos, but for the Baja Blast from the fountain. She will get a small glass, a small drink because I hate drinking calories. Get a small one, and she will save her that. That's the only reason to go to Taco Bell, because you just rent their food. You rent their food for a very short time, and then you have to redo your entire bathroom. That and White Castle. You might as well just pick out paint colors while you're near the Sherwin-Williams. At least if you live with Mr. Moe. Just saying. Makes evaded questions about her recent whereabouts. You know, as you do, you just walk around bloody with a a hammer and a knife, you know, all the time, as one does just walking around Florida, you know, honestly, with all the gators and the pythons and who knows what else people like Wild Bill and his cohorts let out. I mean, tarantulas and gators and who knows, Gila monsters. I don't know. African walking sticks. Who, who the hell knows? I mean, I would, you know, simply say I was afraid of all the critters, but I mean, she may or may not have been within her fully right mind if I'm reading the situation correctly. First pointing in a direction saying she lived right over there by a nearby pawn shop, then claiming she'd been living on the streets for the past four years, police said. She denied knowing uh, serially. Carasoli, maybe, when detectives showed her her photo or showed her his photograph. When pressed, police said she conceded she knew the man but denied seeing him on the day he was murdered. Then she sifted again, telling police she currently lived with Carasoli and was at their home earlier that day. You know, it's a nice little house. I mean, with the porch kind of look, being in a house that needs all of the work, your house sometimes looks like the the money pit. There are parts of the house that look like they're in order and there are parts of the house that just look like yeah, we'll get to it. And usually they're on the outside. It's never, you know, the good parts. It always looks, the outside always looks like fixing to while you're getting the inside to look nice and then you can work on the outside. <laughs> and by the time you're ready to work on the outside, you're getting ready to sell the damned house. By the time you get it all the way you look, the way it's nice and you want to finally sell the deck or, you know, finally get it looking all the nice way, you're selling the damned house. It just never fails. Daytona Beach Police then took Max into custody for questioning per the probable cause affidavit. After she was read her Miranda rights, Max told detectives she never entered Carasoli's bedroom and only set ever set foot on the second floor of their shared apartment to feed her spiders. Okay. Like tarantulas or, or what are we talking? Like funnel? I... I don't brown recluses. Was she making an actual re attack recluse? Because if so, not guilty a hundred times, a hundred percent not guilty. Um, she is a superhero. But if tarantulas and or scorpions, uh, we have to see some evidence. When asked about the weapon she dropped, the police said Max became agitated and demanded a lawyer. Police returned later with a warrant to test the woman's bloodied body for DNA evidence. Max then asked for a can of Diet Mountain Dew. The police obliged her. You know, 
far be it from me to offer advice to a criminal, but you'd think she would have washed prior, like, you know, pre-wandering with said hammer and knife, but far be it from me to question her, her judgment because, you know, she seems to have had a plan going on. The Mountain Dew should cure all this magical elixir. Uh, she began to procrastinate with the drink, the, and detectives tried to pull the can away from her, police said. Then Max began to resist and poured the can of soda all over her body and hair, pulling it away from officers in attempts to interfere with possible evidence on her body, according to the affidavit. The police allegedly forced a pulling and kicking Max into their cruiser. Blood on the knife near Carasoli's body matched samples taken from Max's clothes, police said. The Daytona Beach News Journal reported that her DNA was also recovered on the weapon's handle. Max is being help, held in Velosa County Jail without bond and is scheduled for a court appearance on September 5th. A recent study from North Carolina State University indicated that sucralose, a common artificial sweetener known as Splenda, found in Diet Mountain Dew and other sodas, can break down the genetic material that makes up DNA. Never mind, y'all. All the DNA, all the soda, or you could use bleach. I mean, allegedly, this is not life advice, but bleach works too. I'm just saying Lysol is also a thing if you would rather not make your entire house sticky if you're going to go full Dexter on someone, which, you know, you should just move out rather than do that. I don't know why. Oh, for the love of Cheetos, guys, just, it's Florida. Don't, don't take any advice from people for, from criminals from Florida. Uh, but apparently, we spent a lot of government-funded money on a study to make sure that sucralose can break down DNA. I'm sure a bunch of your tax money and my tax money went to this study, you know, just like the study to see if squirrels, you know, ever became lesbians or if they would run on treadmills or something ridiculous. I have a study to see if, you know, I get an intern to do editing, I can do more videos. I would like the government to send me money, please. Um, also, because of climate change, amen. Send me money. While researchers found the sweetener could put people at risk for disease and wearing down the lining of the intestines, it's unclear whether dousing oneself in soda could actually eliminate forensic evidence. You know, or showering, just throwing it, you know, bathing. It's Florida. You know, I, I'm just going to throw out there that it's Florida. So, uh, you know, we do have, we have uh, CERN and we have Baker. So this might be a, a Mythbusters crime thing that we will have to do. We still have the uh, javelin knife throw. We have the backup, um, you know, wine glass test or cocktail glass test. What else do we have? We have many things that we must test because these are just, you know, things that science demands it. The science demands it. So we will see you next time. I will be coming back, I'm sure, with another video of shenanigans and chicanery and all the crazy because this seems to be my niche. I seem to find um, you guys are always welcome. I think on my community page, there is a um, there's my email or you can put on my community page or in um, David's discord. I have a little um, doodaddy thing. Send me all of the crazy. Uh, they can be, you know, current event, pop culture, anything. I will read them. I will share them because this is kind of where I live. If it is cringelarious, I am here for it. This kind of has made my Friday. It's been a weird one. So, I hope you guys have a great rest of the weekend. I will see you either later on Nicholas's Finally Friday stream, or I will see you tomorrow reprising my role as not Farah because that's Salbert, but one of the angels.
on Baker's Stabby Day stream. And don't forget, Sunday, I will figure out a time with Mr. Mo, but we will have our Floss, Cross, and Goss stream where I just do some of my cross disc pro project and we just sit and gossip and we can talk about whatever questions, comments, nothing that'll get my channel nuked, but you know, I'll listen to you guys and you know, life is weird. So, you know, having six kids, it's kind of weird. You can ask me anything, just don't get me nuked. I'll see you guys later. And you know, do one difficult thing today. Take a breath. It's Friday. Have a great day. Bye, guys.